Welcome to a new video. In this tutorial, I will explain you how you can create very easy a new Oracle Apex template. So in this video, I will show you how you can create like this template. So if I refresh every time, then you can see we will get here new data. For example, JavaScript is 10%. So I've refreshed and it's now 56%. And also here, the color has been changed. So all of these are created here in the Oracle Apex plugin. How is it created? You will find all the details in this blog post, so you can easily copy all of this code and paste this in Oracle Apex. Furthermore, here are also these all examples with the SQL statement, which you can easily use. So let's get started. So before I create the plugin, we have to decide for what we have to create it. I have prepared here something and now you can see um, this is my HTML code and this result will be this. As we can see we have here one title and on the second side we have here the value and the third thing is here um, the progress bar. So if you check this here on the HTML code and you can see this is normal simple HTML base code. Then here we start with the style and then we come here to the main html part so here you can see there is normal diff then we have here this will be our label or the name of this and then we have here um, the percent also this is this value and the last thing what we have is here the white also for example if i write here 80 percent then you will see it's not dark. so 80 percent then you can see here and then we have also here the last thing, this is the background. So for example, black, and then it will be changed. So our target is to create a new plugin um, based on this HTML code. So let's move back to Oracle Apex. We have to click here on the app builder, open one application, then click on the shared components, then click here on the plugins. And yeah, currently we have no plugin. Then we click here to create a plugin. Um, from scratch then click here on the next button first of all we have to define the name so i will define the name dynamic indicator visualizer then we if i click here on here then you can see the name come automatically the type we select here the template components um, here are also another type yeah but currently in this video we will um, yeah, select this template then here are also some checkboxes here we select a multiple report yeah because um, later we will also show multiple another thing so therefore we select this multiple report if we want on to show only one row then it will be clicked this one in this tutorial we will um, see multiple rows therefore i will click here and then you can see here the standard default code is here but what we have to do is to replace this one so i have prepared this code and will paste here and explain you a little bit so first of all, you can see we have here the lazy loading and if it's lazy loading, then we will only see the loading part. So after it's loaded, then you can see um, yeah, our HTML code from which was used here is the only paste and what we have to only do was the replacing the, the name and also the percentage. So if you can see here, this was the title. I have replaced this with a variable and my variable name is indicator name. And also I have replaced the value 40 with the value variable. That's for this point. But um, to replace here the color and uh, this one, we have to look a little bit deeper. So the, the white was also easy. It's also replaced by the value. So for example, if we have here 80%, um, then automatically our style should be also 80%. And so for example, this is the correct thing. So therefore we used two times the same variable, one time here and the second time here. Then we come to the next point, it's background. Um, again, in this example, you can see uh, normally the background is only one word. So but what we are doing here is uh, we set a if condition. So for example, if this variable has any value or this variable is assigned to any value, then should come this, this value. And if not, then should come this value. So I will tell, explain you what is uh, behind this value. So if I open this website, then you can see Oracle 
then you can see Oracle Apex has their own color and status modifiers. So here are the name. We can see there is U color minus one and also here and here this one. And what I now use this um, this class here. So what we have is every time the U color and only what we are replacing is the number. <clears throat> so what we are doing is we go um, our our variable can or our, our variable should have the value from one to 45 as you can see here so if our variable has the number 38 then we will see this color if the variable number has 31 then we will see this color so this is the logic behind this behind this if statement or behind also if this class and yeah that's it for, for this side then we go um, here to the report body you can see this is also the standard code we have to replace this um, you can also check in the block this is very simple you have to only copy the code and paste here because we have we will set before and after this um, yeah this one so you can also see here apex rows yeah and here report rows you can also copy the code and paste it here and after that you can click here on the create plugin but before i click you okay you will see this after that because if i click here on the create button oracle apex will automatically recognize that we are using here three different variables so this is the first this is the second and this one is the last so the third so if i click here on the create button um, and if let me check this error yeah okay i have to remove this one and then i click here on the create plugin button and now you can see the plugin is created and then here on the bottom side the custom attributes you will see here are our three different values uh, variables which we used in the code so we can go in this um, in this variable and also define um, some settings for example we can tell okay um, yeah, this will be color or HTML icon, whatever. But in our case, this is a number, so we can, for example, also tell it's required, and can say, um, yeah, save. We have also our color index number is also number. It's required. Also, this I selected before. Our value is also number, and it's required. Yeah. So after that, um, the plugin is currently created, but we have to also save the CSS. For this, we have to go here a little bit down and then we have to create a new file. I click here and then I set here style.css and then here create. And yeah, also you can easily um, copy this from the blog copy and paste it here it's also very easy and then click here on the save button it's saved important is that you have to copy this one i copy this link and then i go back and have to paste it here here on this path and you can also every time see all of your css files and then you can also later um, change this or edit then you click here on the apply changes and that's all so the plugin is created and we can go in the oracle apex and create here a new page and test it i will create a new blank page um, with the number 20 the name will be the same as the plugin this is also okay here i will plug yeah, okay, I will select now this icon and then I will create this page. On this page, I will create a new region and select the type. If I scroll up, then I can see here dynamic indicator visualizer. Then I will click this and now here I have to select, um, yeah, select any table or can write my own SQL statement. Um, yeah, if you go back to the post, then you will see there are some SQL command. If I copy from that one and will paste here, then you can see um, yeah, here we have all the different uh, language. Then we have here, um, yeah, before I go there, I will go back and show you something. If I open the SQL command and open this back. So 
I select all of this SQL statement and um, yeah, paste it here and run this and then you can see we got in the first SQL statement only the five name. Our second SQL command, also this one, it will give us a value from 0 to 100, also in the random number. So for example, um, select this column from dual. So if I run this, I got the number 49. I run again, I will get the number 61. And so on every time, if I run this, you can see here, I will see a random new number. And here is the same, for example, our number begins from 0 to 45 and it's called our index number. And you remember, we have here in the Oracle Apex um, defined this class with the number 1, 245. So it means, um, yeah, we will get every time a very good number from here. So it means if I run this SQL command here, then you can see, um, you can see now that we have here the JavaScript with the 44 value and this is our number 0. Okay, we have to write here 1. So then you can see here we have a, again JavaScript, but this time with the value 32 and our um, color number is 20. So if I, keep, I run it again, then you can see we have the new number and the new color. So we have defined here our SQL statement and then click here on the OK. Then we have to go here on the attribute. And then you remember we set these two columns as uh, mandatory. So we have to select this and the color index is this one. The indicator name was this one and the value is this one. Yeah. And the yeah, template appearance is blank. First of all, we will check. Okay, now we can see the color are missing. Let me check something in the CSS file. So we have to go here to the page designer in the shared components plugins. And here, this is our styles. Yeah, I think here is some problem. So you can also see here is red, but on the other side is okay. What we have to do is here um, this, this one, and then make save, close this, and now um, yeah, I will refresh the page or click here. Now you can see, uh, for example, for the JavaScript is 8%, and also for the Java is 88%, 76%. So if I refresh it again, then you will see again new value and new color codes, which are defined here by Oracle Apex classes. So if I click many times here for the refresh, then you will see every time will come here another value and also another some color. Um, yeah, I will show you on, also some another example. I will copy paste this and yeah, show you with some another example. So I will open this one in the page designer. I will set here the template is standard. So I can also define now the title. This could be for example this one. Then check this is okay I will also tell you start new row now and we'll copy this and set a new title for employee performance we'll then paste here employee performance with the board quality teamwork here we have again um, from 0 to 100 and here from 1 to 45 can we make this save and run the page now you can see we have here two different regions I have also to another example, I will also import this um, create here and here I will say start new row. This is about sales performance and I will replace the SQL query. It's um, yeah, as you can see here, revenue, customer acquisition, product, return rate and so on. Then here we have again from 0 to 100, 1 to 45. Click OK, save and run. And now we have three, and I will also add the last one. So it's about customer, and I will also add here the SQL statement. So we can see here support, product, and customer loyalty. We'll check, okay, save and run. Yeah. 
no. And then as you can see here, um, maybe I will also remove the breadcrumb here and then save and play. Yeah, and now you can see here we have four different um, regions which are used by the plugin with SQL command. The data can come directly from a table or we currently create a dummy view or dummy select statement and then we are displaying this data. So if I every time refresh the page, then you can see we will get new data or yeah, new color with new percentage. And that's also in this tutorial, you learn how you can create a plugin very easy and yeah in the two minutes it's mean if you come here and copy all the code and paste it and then you can create very fast a plugin so the important thing is that you have to fir define first what what is your target for example in this tutorial our target was to create from this html a plugin so every time if you want also to create a plugin first you need here one um, something in the html code and then you can create the plugin so it's only a transformation and yeah mostly you have only to replace the variables and set a little bit css code maybe the javascript code and okay yeah and that's all in this video i hope you learned how to create the ruckle apex plugin and if you have any question leave this in the comments and thanks for watching